Hey Jacqueline, I actually did know that because that's literally exactly what I said. If Megan wrote a song, let's just say hypothetically, saying that maybe the reason Nicki Minaj is acting how she's acting is because she has brain damage because Meek Mill slammed her head between a washer and a dryer with a big smile on her face, but doing the washer and the dryer, the washer and the dryer. I don't think you guys would be laughing at it. And that's what the big conundrum is here. She is a victim of abuse. Don't you think a grown woman would think, wow, I've been in this position before. In fact, multiple times in this industry, I see someone who just entered it. We've had a friendship before. We've made songs before. She might have made a WAP. Maybe I should get the fuck over that and actually make a monumental change in the industry and the world with my worldwide influence and show that this is not a joke and that even beyond our rap beef and our competition in the industry, I can still defend another woman and take her abuse seriously rather than making her a punchline. What Nikki doesn't understand and what I feel like all of her fans don't understand is that using another woman's abuse as a gotcha as a woman makes you look like a fucking idiot because you're both the punchline at the end of the day. Right now, it's just Megan because that's that's what we're dealing with publicly right now. At one time, it was Megan. I mean, it was Nikki, but there wasn't another woman publicly gaining worldwide attention, making fun of Nikki, saying, your head in the water in the dryer, the water in the dryer, because that's insane and it's unethical. And only somebody with worms in their brains would act like that.